Hi, it's me, Jazz here. I'm back with another tech-related video. And today, it's just a quick little video, really, just to show you something that I picked up on eBay recently. It's an RS Components Lux Meter. Now, nothing unusual about a Lux Meter. We've taken a look at them before on the channel. But this one is an analog Lux Meter. And it's in really good condition. It comes in its own case. We've got the light sensor in the top there. We've got the meter here, and it's even got a battery in it. It's ready to go. <laughs> and it's got a really nice dampened effect on the needle there, which is very pleasing. So I thought, why don't we take a little look at this, give it a bit of a test, and maybe have a look what's inside, compare it with a more modern Lux meter. But I think it's rather charming, and it really didn't cost a lot of money. It looks to be in really, really nice shape. So let's have a closer look at it, shall we? Right, let's take a look at this, shall we? Even the case is in really nice condition. Little poppers on the back there. There we go. I'm not too sure of the age of this. I wonder if we can glean anything from it. So we've got different scales on here. For 500 lux, use 50 scale times 10. For 2500 lux, use 250 scale times 10. So it all seems pretty simple. So it has got a battery in it already. This is literally how it arrived. Now you've got the sensor in here. Have a look at this. There we go. For approximate correction factors, refer to operating instructions. Unfortunately, I don't have the operating instructions. There is a bit under here, but I think it's just a warranty. Okay, so that's the light sensor there. How accurate this is, I don't know, but I've got more modern Lux meters, which we can compare this with just for a bit of fun, but it's just nice. I do like these old analog meters just even as a collectible i just like how they look i just think it looks neat so we've got some paperwork here non-guarantee repairs and exchanges okay that basically tells you if there's something wrong with it to send it back to rs oh there you go repair exchange questionnaire I was hoping I might be able to glean some sort of date from it, but there doesn't seem to be a date, anything on there. Have to do a bit of research into how old this is. Maybe we'll get a clue from the components inside. Even the case is in really good condition. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Been really well looked after, this one. So it seems to have a battery in it already. Now, the sensor's got a, a cell in the middle, which is a selenium photovoltaic cell now that's not easy to say i mean it's a pretty simple thing but sometimes i find joy in these really simple devices i just think it looks really cool and this one's in nice condition i love looking for things like this that are in really good condition and it came with the battery in it and i love the dampening of the meter movement so, see it's the little things in life <laughs> Oh, that's gone well off the scale. That's measuring the lux of the filming lights that are above. Oh, I see. So if I'm correct, this is telling me the battery life. We've got off battery. That's the 2500 scale, so, which is telling me. So for 2500 lux, use 250 scale times 10, which is this scale here. So that's 250 scale times 10. So I'm presuming that's telling me we're, we're around 50, 60, 70. So it, it's telling me we're around 75 lux. So 75 lux times 10, 750 lux. But then we don't really know how accurate this is or how much light we have here. Let's grab something to compare it to. Let's turn that off for a sec. So this is a more modern equivalent. It just doesn't have the same charm, does it? It'll be easier to read because it's digital, but I still don't think it looks as nice as this. Right, so we've got a light sensor for this one that plugs in. I'm literally just doing this for fun here at the moment uh, to amuse myself and hopefully you, dear viewers, as well. I'm 
just really interested to see if this gives me a comparable reading. Now, I know this probably hasn't been calibrated. Some of the components might be needing replacement, but just for fun, it's important to have fun in electronics, isn't it? I think so. So this is on Lux already, so let's turn it on. I think we might need to change range here. Here we go. Oh, do you know what? We weren't far off the mark when we said 750. Look at that, 751. <laughs> That's awesome. We go back to this 2500 range. Okay, so 50, 60, 70. We're at about 75. 50, 60, 70. Yeah, we're at about 75 there, roughly because I keep moving it about, it's affecting the reading. So we're at about 75 there, and it says for the 2500 Lux scale, use the 250 scale times 10. So there's 75 times 10, 750, bang on. Wow. I don't know how old this meter is, but I've got to say I'm pretty impressed. That's pretty awesome. I mean, I can't vouch for the fact that this is accurate. I've never calibrated this but it is a much more recent model than this. But the fact that the two agree would seem to tell me that this is maybe doing a pretty good job. Okay, so let me turn off one of my filming lights over here. There we go. So we're dropping down to 621 on this meter here. So what have we got on here? 50. 65 so it's, it's it's again with an analog meter it's always hard to get an exact reading but yeah we're looking at i think about 65 which would give me 650 this is giving me 622 it's not a scientific test this far from it <laughs> So it's good to see that it's reasonably ballpark. So I've had a bit of a rummage around online and I've managed to find some instructions for this model. So apparently this is resin. It says the photovoltaic cell is protected by a resin coating, which should be kept clean and free of fingerprints, which I guess makes sense. Now we've got a zero adjustment screw here. If your meter's not at zero, but this one looks pretty good. This one's behaving itself, but if it wasn't at zero, you could zero it in using that. They give you quite a lot of information on the instructions here. Apparently that lead is two meters long. Interestingly it gives you some uh, recommended illuminance values here. Now we were getting 750 so we're somewhere in between medium work and fine work. So probably need to improve my lighting slightly here. Interestingly, it recommends corridors, passages and stairs are 100 to 150 lux. So just enough to see where you're going, yeah, without falling down the stairs. Nice. Right, I guess the only thing to do now then is take it apart. Looks pretty simple. Just two screws on the back. It's also nice to see these screws are not even chewed up on the back here. So it's obviously been very well looked after this unit. Or it's just not had much use. Maybe it was superseded by a more modern digital one. Right, now, which way are we going here? Oh, there's the battery. Right, okay, so yeah, we've got industrial by Duracell, professional battery. It's all really nice condition, isn't it? It's really clean in here. Oh, I wonder if we can, can we glean any sort of date code from this? 16 holes W, Z, 18041, 001, WC. Hmm. Really give much away, does it? There's a few little components in here. Disconnect the battery for a minute. Let's see if we can get this out, just so we can have a look at the other side and be nosy. All right, it just looks like these two little nuts to come out. Get this board off and have a look what lies underneath. You know, sometimes it's just fun and also relaxing to just have a look inside something. Not a major repair or rebuild or anything. 
Yes, that looks like I've got to take this off, does it? Okay. Okay, that was easy. Ah, right. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh, look. Oh, interesting. What have we got here? Right, so what have we got on here? Plus minus 9 volts from the battery. And that's the plus minus going to the meter. We've got a chip here in a socket. We've got a CA. 3130AE, a couple of adjuster pots here, which have been sealed, no need to mess with those, we've got a little transistor down here, the JSO3, there's not a lot going on here is there, one little capacitor there, and then that's the wiring out to the photovoltaic cell, other than that you've got your switch mechanism there, and that's it. It's just really simple, isn't it? Right, I've brought it over here so we can have a look under the microscope. So, let's get the Tomlov out. Okay, you can clearly see these resistors. There we go, right. Okay, so you can see the 9 volt incoming from the battery there. Resistor there. These little adjustment pots. There's our 3130 op amp. That's doing all the clever stuff. I do wonder what the orange paint signifies on top of that op amp. Transistor there, we've got a J503. That's wiring out to the photovoltaic cell. There you, go, you can see the contacts on the switch there. It's great seeing it at this close up, isn't it? <laughs> it's the switch contacts. Right, well there we go. Well that's a good look inside this little lux meter. Let's get this back together then, shall we? Interesting though that there's some extra holes. I've just noticed this, some extra molding holes inside. I wonder if they used this casing for other things because you've got these extra, or if there's like an upspec model that has extra switches on it, or these look like they would be for connections of test leads or something, possibly. Maybe they used this casing for something else. Maybe it's just a generic casing that they used for various meters. Of course, eagle-eyed viewers will have spotted that I didn't actually need to undo those, but never mind. Fifty, sixty, seventy-five, nearly eighty. There we go. Really pleased with that. What a nice little thing. Well, there you go. Sometimes it's just nice to have a change of pace and just take a look at something simple and how it works. It's nice taking a look inside and you can see that it functions nicely and it's still doing a really good job. There we go. More light. Less light. <laughs> There you go. I'm really chuffed with this. It's just a really nice thing. Sometimes it's nice to just take a look at something like these. I know the digital ones are more efficient and will give you probably a more accurate reading, but still, I just like these. I think they're charming. I like these little analog meters. I think it's really cool. So thanks for watching today. Hope you've enjoyed taking a look at this little Lux meter with me. It's a nice little diversion. Many thanks to all those that have been liking, sharing and subscribing. If you'd like to hit the subscribe button, it's always massively appreciated. I'll be back soon with some more tech related videos. But in the meantime, take care and I'll see you on the next one.